y'all welcome to my channel my name is Paige today I wanted to do something a little different I know that I've been doing shop with me since the dawn of time since the beginning of my channel many moons ago but something that I think we all do I'm pretty sure we all do is online shop I've shared some deals here and there if I'm just so happening to be shopping in a vlog and I'll share with you guys what's going on but I wanted to share Hi, Rosie. <laughs> I wanted to share with you kind of like the process, like maybe me finally picking something out. I don't think I'm the only one that kind of is a procrastinating shopper or one that kind of prolongs the shopping process. I don't know if it's just me, but when I shop online, I definitely take my time, especially if it's something that is a little on the pricier side. Shoot, even sometimes things that are not on the pricier side, I still take my time and decide, if, is this exactly what I want? Do I want to have to go through the whole returning process? So I hate having to return something. So I like to make sure that it's something that I absolutely want, that this is the one that I want, um, that I'm not just you know deciding on this one because it's the more affordable option blah 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 all the things so I wanted to take you guys along with me on the process of online shopping this is going to be for all kinds of items on multiple websites this video is not sponsored in any way by any brand any company whatever I just thought that because I needed to pick up a couple things today that I would take you guys along with me share some of my money saving tips with you and I guess just let you get to know me a little bit better by the way Daniel and Lauren y'all are blowing me up right now and I'm gonna need y'all to get it together <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for these dogs because they're gonna be jumping all around. If I'm ever sitting on the floor, they are all around me and they're moving all around. Rosie will be back here, ladies over here, they'll swap positions. Y'all love the dogs and if you don't love them, then whatever, I love them and they're gonna be here. So the first thing that I went shopping for this morning, which is a godsend, super duper game changer, is online grocery ordering. So not necessarily delivery, because we out in the cut <laughs> in the country. They don't they don't deliver out here in these parts. Um, but they have grocery pickup now, which is a like I said, lifesaver. My husband swings by after work, picks the groceries up, and it's just it's everything. One, because I am I think I'm five months pregnant now. I don't even, I can't even keep up <laughs> with how far along I am, but I am not allowed to pick up anything that's like, you know, heavy, which cuts out big cases of water. We always buy humongous cases of water because we're not able to drink our water. That's another story for another day. Um, but I'm not able to pick those up in the store. So this makes my life easy because when you do grocery pickup, they load everything into your vehicle for you and then I just bring it home and then Cody brings it in the house so it's just a godsend not only that but I save so much money by not aimlessly walking around Walmart so this way I'm able to go straight to the app they have a, they do have a separate grocery app so it's not just a Walmart app you have to download the grocery app if they offer this in your area I would highly recommend checking it out if they do um, I want to say there's some other online grocery pickup things that are offered now but it's so convenient if you don't want to wrangle up all your kids and have to take them inside of the grocery store to get groceries just put them in the vehicle pull up in your nice little parking space and they'll load everything up for you but it's amazing i've saved so much money ordering them online this way it's a time saver because I will spend hours walking around Walmart. So it definitely is a time saver for me. So that was one of the first things. So I wanted to share that with you that I've already made that order this morning and Cody's gonna pick it up for me later on. Before I jump into some of the items that I am looking for right now, I definitely wanted to share an item that we most recently bought and it is a thing for the nursery. So I know you guys have been asking all about nursery themes and what we're doing to the nursery if I'm gonna be sharing the decorating process of the nursery and the answer is yes I will be doing a decorate the nursery with me a little later on we're still working on getting everything cleaned out getting all our ideas finalized we did finally decide on a rug which is what I'm going to be showing you I literally go from website to website to website to make sure I'm getting all the options that are there and not only that but I want to make sure that it's going to be something that I love not just now but something that she's going to be able to grow with something that we can change later because I want it to be a pop of color because the room's going to be pretty neutral but I wanted the rug to give us that little bit of pop just a hint of girliness but I also wanted to keep that natural um almost like 
bohemian eclectic kind of feel so i wanted to give that pop of color without it being so like zoned into one specific style so that as she grew up she could still use the rug we're going to get our money's worth out of it so this rug i actually found at wayfair i love looking at wayfair and also rugs usa i even checked out target like i looked at so many different places to make sure that the rug that i chose was going to be like i said something that she could use and love for a long time we also didn't want it to be like pink overload because I wanted this to be a room that both me and my husband could go in and enjoy with her. So I didn't want it to just be like a girly oasis. I wanted it to be something that my husband would really enjoy. So I knew when looking for a rug, I did not want it to be ridiculously pink. So I found this rug that was actually called a peach pink. And what am I doing? <laughs> Trying to talk and do this at the same time is looking to be on the difficult side. Let me type in pink rug. And this one was perfect. It is the Dario Peach Pink Area Rug. And it's on sale for $88. And I'm sitting here looking at it right now, laying on the floor. We rolled it out in our living room, dining room area. So we could see what it looks like because we're going to shampoo the carpets in the nursery. So I didn't want to put it down in there and have to take it back out. But I also wanted to make sure that it was in good condition. So I went ahead and unrolled it checked it out if you are looking for a rug similar to this or maybe you love this rug i would highly highly recommend it we got the five by eight as soon as you rolled it out that it didn't have like those funky like lifted up corners that you have to like put something heavy on to try to lay it out it is perfect it is pretty much the same color as it is online it is in person so and i love that i hate when you order something online and then you get it and it looks totally different that is one of my hugest pet peeves that's one reason why I don't like shopping online as often because I want to touch it and I want to see it and feel it in person. And, it, you know, you can't do that online. <laughs> but I do read a lot of reviews before I buy anything. I like looking at photos. A rug in particular, I like looking at different photos from different buyers you're seeing it in different lighting in different rooms next to different things so you can see like what colors is pulling out more if it looks more muted if it's more pink in this area is that because it's next to something pink and it's really pulling it out so i love shopping through reviews to make sure that it's something that i absolutely am obsessed with still even seeing it in different lighting situations everything that i mentioned today that i am able to link down below i will do so that you guys can find it so much easier next up on my agenda of shopping is going to be sandals more specifically birkenstocks so if you guys have been following me for a little while now i bought a pair of birkenstocks last summer the mayary ones i think is how you pronounce it love them they took some breaking in time for sure it took about two weeks to break them in and that was wearing them about 15 minutes a day and then taking them off because you don't want to overdo it and kill your feet so this year i knew because they have adjustable straps if my feet you know because being pregnant in the summertime i've never been pregnant you know so i didn't really know how to expect this to go and and it's the summer i didn't know how much fluid i was going to be carrying so i wanted to make sure that if i invested in a comfortable pair of shoes i was going to be able to wear them and i knew i love my birkenstocks and i love the fact that they have those adjustable straps so if my feet get any wider i can adjust them so i went ahead and got a new pair cody actually got them for me for my birthday and i love them but <laughs> these are the arizona which are like the tried and true everybody's favorite and they are wonderful for some reason i'm getting blisters on the inside of my feet i don't know if it was the leather that i chose or because my feet are different because i'm pregnant i don't i don't know what it is um but my aunt just got a pair because i got a pair so then she had to get a pair too um she got the ones that joanna Gaines are wearing like every picture on her instagram if y'all know what i'm talking about and she obviously she wears them all the time so they must be comfortable so when i got around my aunt she had them on her feet i was like okay i need to try these shoes on so of course i tried them on she's literally wearing them in like every 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 picture or every video she wears them all the time and I mean, they gotta be comfy. That's all I can think of. They must be comfy. So I had the opportunity to try my aunt's on and I 
fell in love with them. She said they didn't need any break-in time. They didn't hurt her feet at all. And when I tried them on, I could tell that they would not hurt my feet or that they wouldn't cause blisters because the leather is so soft. It's like a suede, very soft material. Whereas mine's more of that sturdy, thick leather. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not knocking the ones that I have, but I think just for the stage that my feet are in right now, I'm going to have to wait um, to wear them. So I kind of want these. And they're not... They're not a cheap pair of shoes. These shoes will last you for years on years on years. You can always go to like Walmart or Target and get the knockoff ones and spend like 20 some dollars on them, but they're not gonna last as long as a Birkenstock will and you'll have to re-up however often on a new pair of shoes. That's why shoes are one thing that I do not mind spending a hundred whatever so dollars on because they last me for a long time I got shoes that I've been wearing for the last 10 years and that's why like I said I don't mind putting money into shoes clothes is different I am super cheap with my clothes but shoes I invest in my shoes because I don't want to be walking around and my feet are killing me I don't want to have to keep spending money in shoes so Birkenstocks are like life savers so that's one thing that i am going to be shopping for today i already know the ones that i want so we're just going to find those right now and i'm going to share them with you because i've already tried hers on and i just need to find them so these are the arizona soft footbed suede leather the leather on top is so awesome and i would recommend the soft footbed over the regular like cork hard footbed because you can like immediately wear that soft footbed like right then you don't have to wait and break them in like i did that first pair i got the first pair i got were not the soft footbed that's why i had to wait and wear them like 15 minutes a day these you could wear them immediately other than the blisters on my feet but um that's why i'm thinking if i get this soft suede leather i think i'll be fine so before i buy them um i always go and check other sites to make sure that I'm getting the best deal. But here's the thing, Birkenstocks don't go on sale. <laughs> so you're not gonna find them any cheaper somewhere else that's actually an authentic Birkenstock. They just don't go on sale. But you can shop through Ebates. I am an avid Ebates shopper. You can make money back, people not sponsored i have made hundreds of dollars back just from shopping things i would already buy so it doesn't add on any price any cost any tax it doesn't add on anything to the current price they've just teamed up with these brands to work with them and they can offer you a certain percentage cash back when you shop through their site or their app so whatever you're shopping on whether it's a computer your phone whatever look up ebates i actually think now it's called rakuten but you can still look up Ebates. If the Birkenstock site or any site for that matter is not necessarily affiliated with them, you could use another site that is. Maybe like Zappos or Shoe Department. You know, just something that is and that sells those. You can still use Ebates through that to get your cash back. So I would definitely recommend shopping around. So if Birkenstocks is not affiliated with Ebates, then I would just use Zappos or whoever else is affiliated with them to make sure I'm going to get some money back. I mean, it won't be big. It'll be a few dollars, but hey, the coins add up and I'm all about coins adding up. Okay, so now I've jumped over to Amazon. Amazon is definitely something that when I have something in my head, I'll go ahead and add it to my cart and I won't necessarily get it right then. <laughs> yeah, I know there are some people that are like, they add it and they buy it. They add it and they buy it. I am the type that like tries to get all of my thoughts together before I do like finalize the order. I know, and we pay Amazon Prime. It's not like all of it's going to be not free shipping because it definitely is if it's a prime thing uh, but for some reason i just like to get everything in like one order <laughs> so unless i necessarily need it in that two day span from then i'll then i'll go ahead and order something that's in my cart right now is a air fryer and an air fryer i already had one something happened to it i have no idea what happened to it i only used it a handful of times before there was a shortage and cody's tried to fix it i have no idea what's going on with it and an air fryer would make my life so much easier instead of trying to heat up the oven just for like one serving of something for myself so i definitely wanted to get another air fryer but i didn't want to get something that was going to be ridiculously expensive or something that was going to take up a whole lot of room on the counter so i'm thinking about getting this one and it's that cute aqua blue color which 
literally the same color as my KitchenAid. And I know that because once again, I looked at reviews and I've seen a picture of it next to one and it is like identical. Not that it matters because it's not going to be left out on the counters. I hate a lot of stuff out on the counter. Um, I'm trying to like find storage for stuff now so it doesn't have to live out on the counter. This one, I think I'm going to go with this one. It doesn't have a digital thing that I have to worry about because like I said, the digital screen on mine went out. Not that I think that other digital screens will go out too, but I don't know. This one's under 40 bucks. I know it's on the smaller side, but like I said, it would just be for like small things here and there. When I'm, when I'm cooking something big, I don't mind putting it in the oven um, for multiple people. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to get that. It's in my cart. Let me share some other stuff that I've saved in my save for later cart. So I don't know if you guys have seen these like dupes of the Louis Vuitton Neverfulls. Um, I love the idea of owning a designer bag. I know I'm not the only one that loves the idea of that, but <laughs> in actuality, I don't think I would love the idea of knowing that I had spent that much money on a pocketbook. Something that I would be scared to sit on the ground or throw in the back of the truck. You know, like I don't, I mean, because I would do that and then I would know that I had spent that amount of money on something and it would drive me insane. So I'm not saying that I'll never buy a luxury designer handbag. I'm not going to say that, but <laughs> I ain't going to be buying one in the near future. So I seen an Instagram blogger, fashion blogger, whatever, um, share this purse. And I feel like once I share it on here and you guys see it y'all will probably put it out of stock because every time I would go to look for it it was out of stock and now it's in stock I think that after I mention it it might go out of stock I don't know maybe I won't go and buy all of them they have the three different color options they have the traditional brown one which is my favorite the demure I think is what it's called I don't even know then they have the black and gray and then they also have that cream and gray and I know so many people that have purchased this bag in particular and said that they love it it is a wonderful dupe I mean obviously it doesn't have all of the the little logos and stuff on it because they can't they can't do that but they also sell the makeup case so and I've seen a lot of people talk highly of that makeup case and it also comes in the three different color options and they also have the wallet but it is the daisy rose you have to shop the actual daisy rose I don't know anybody that's tried any of the other um like brands that are on there but I know they've tried Daisy Rose. So many people have. And everything. You could get the whole entire set. You can get the makeup bag, the wallet, and the like knockoff never full for like under a hundred bucks. Now for those people that know what a real one looks like, they're going to be able to point it out and tell it's not real. But if you don't care, then girl, go ahead and get you this. I will have this link down below in the description box so you can look for it. They also have a crossbody bag, which I was kind of eyeballing because that's my style. That's what I like. I hate putting stuff in my hands. So as much as I would like to order this, I'm trying to be, you know, logical and think, Paige, do you really enjoy carrying like a tote bag style? I really like backpack styles and crossbody styles because I hate stuff in my hands. So I don't know if it would be, it's only 50, but still only 50, 50 is still a lot, you know? So I'm like, do I want to invest 50 in this knockoff bag? Tell me what I should do down below in the comments. I know I would be getting the brown, that chocolate brown, because I think that's my favorite. I feel like that's traditional Louis V print. I don't know. Um, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I don't know. Something else that I'm shopping for on Amazon, because I've seen some like on like boutique stores or just like a the actual brand website but I'm an Amazon shopper through and through. I love Amazon Prime. I love being able to get it in two days. If I want it in two days, I just love the ease of it. I love being able to return stuff so easily if they have the return option. I don't ever buy anything on Amazon unless I can return it. I've been looking for a maternity swimsuit. I kind of want something, I'm really on the fence about do I want my stomach out? Do I want a one piece? Here's the problem. As much as I love the idea of a one piece, and I think it's so cute, especially this one right here, and this one also comes in a bunch of colors. And I've actually seen, I want to say I've seen somebody wear this print right here. 
on Instagram or something. And they said it was wonderful quality, under 30 bucks, um, which is good. Um, I am cheap, but a swimsuit, if it's going to be good quality and I can wear it for more than one summer, then yeah, I'll spend $30 on it. But I normally go with two pieces because of how I'm shaped. So, because I have such a short torso and such a big butt and so small chested, I'm like, I have such a hard time finding a one piece that works. I normally have to get a two piece. And normally the top is a smidgen smaller than the bottom. Like, I might have to get a medium or large on top and like a large, extra large on the bottom just to make sure that everything is working. That's why I've always had difficulty with a one piece. But now that I'm pregnant, <laughs> I know that the maternity is going to be made for a growing bump which is great. Um, obviously a two piece would still give me that option because it's exposed so I don't have to worry about that as long as my bottoms had that expanding, you know, like the tied sides. So I don't know, if y'all have some maternity swimsuits that you love, you know, maybe the bikini or maybe a one piece, I'm definitely open to ideas. This is really, I wanna say this is the only one that I found on Amazon that was what I really liked and I think that if I did go with this one I would probably end up just getting the all black one because some of the prints I wasn't too fond of but um like I said they do have a couple really cute prints I actually do really like this red but I don't want to look like a big <laughs> a big something a big apple I don't know I don't want to look all crazy Leave down below in the comments some recommendations of bikinis or one pieces that are maternity friendly because it's hot and I'm going to be pregnant all summer. So, <laughs> um, I need, I'm going to need some swimsuits. So this was definitely like a tryout with you guys to see how you enjoyed this online shopping here on my channel. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you enjoyed about it. Maybe you want to give me a comment on something that you would like to see more of in these videos. Um, maybe something that you would like to see just altered a little bit. Make sure to leave those down below so that I can make those changes in the future when I do another one of these. That's if y'all enjoy this. If y'all don't enjoy it, I'll just continue to shop on my own in the privacy of my own home with my dogs. <laughs> and not share it with y'all so you don't have to deal with all of that. If you enjoyed catching up with us here and seeing some of the things that I'm purchasing, some things that I've already purchased. And yeah, I hope y'all have a beautiful and blessed day, y'all. I will see you in the next one. Bye.